and welcome back to my channel. It is 2021. Holy guacamole. <laughs> welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. My name is Katie. I'm being a little bit quiet today because my kitties are just napping while I get this filmed. Um, and this is the first video that I've filmed in a very long time, um, but the first of 2021. And I'm really excited to be back. I just wanted to say a big thank you if you have come back or if you are new and you're staying. I have a very exciting announcement today in this video that I have been wanting to try and do for a very long time, but I have decided to encompass it within this channel. Because around about four months ago, I watched the documentary by David Attenborough, and it was like Saving Our Planet or something like that. I can't remember the exact name, but it has hit, hit home for me. And normally I'm the kind of person that will hear some facts, know some info, and I'll be like, that really sucks but I can't do anything about it because I'm one person. And this time I just said to myself, no, if everybody did that, then we would definitely have no better place to be living in or a better place for our kids in the future. And as a parent, I am always trying to keep my kids safe. And the biggest safety of all is their future and having a planet for them that's healthy. And something that has really struck home for me is the fact that I am a huge contributing factor, um, you know, sharing brands, sharing clothes, shop with me, you name it on this channel, everything like that is all contributing because fashion is the fashion industry in general is one of the, if not the most major contributing elements to global warming. So I need to take on the responsibility of that and I'm going to start making my own clothes. I'm so excited. I can't believe I'm saying that out loud finally. Um, so I'm not intending on selling them. Um, if I do, it'll only be because A, they don't fit me <laughs> and I've made them too small or too big. Um, B, because I have too many clothes and I always do clear out sales on Depop. Um, but who knows where this venture might take me. I might start making some down the track. I don't really know. I don't have plans for that right now. Right now I'm just excited to try something new. I'm a very creative soul. I love anything creative like painting, acting, singing, this, um, everything, you name it. But I have always grown up around people who sew. My mum, my grandma, um, Elliot's mum is a big sewer. Elliot is my husband, if you don't know. Um, so I, so no pun intended. Um, so I have been meaning to give sewing a go for a very long time. I tried it as a kid and I liked it. Um, no passionate thing for it though. I was not like, oh, I must do this for the rest of my life. But now as I've grown older and I've become more appreciative for clothes, especially I think as a plus size person as well, um, we can't always get our hands on things that skinny or straight people can. And so um, I have been tempted to give making things myself a go and I've always thought, I'm sure if I knew how I could do that. So that is the intention behind this. A couple of resources or people that have inspired me to do this in 2021, I will link down below in case you wanna check them out. Um, but one of two people, the first one is Katie Parrott on Instagram. She is a fellow blogger friend and I've been following her for quite some time. She is a avid sewer herself, I think self-taught, um, but she's also a blogger of plus size fashion and body inspo, uh, body positive inspo, I should say. Um, so she's a great resource and someone that I very fondly um, follow for advice. And um, she also has a highlight reel of all of the resources that she's come across in the plus size sewing industry. Um, well, not really industry, but you get the gist niche um so it's kind of saved me that trouble of having to source that and i can find some um sewing patterns that are plus size friendly which is fantastic um another person that i came across on my journey to um, discovering whether i could even attempt sewing was rosary apparel on here on youtube and um she is the sweetest little soul i have only just recently come across her channel so um, i haven't had a chance to chat to her on instagram or anything like that but um her videos are just so aesthetically pleasing but also she is just such a sweetheart so um i gained quite a lot of knowledge from her and i'm excited to buy a couple of her um because she's created her own patterns for sewing 
Um, and so far they look as though they are plus size friendly. I don't know because I haven't made them, but I think she said hers goes from a size 14 to 24. So when he's just woken up. <laughs> One more account that I have to share with you um, that I came across, I think it was thanks to Katie um, in her resources highlights, but um, an account called ha uh, underscore DIY Daisy. She is just gorgeous and her style is so aesthetically pleasing. Um, you can go check her out on Instagram. I'm not sure that she does YouTube, but um, her grid looks amazing and she's also got some fab resources as well that I've checked out and started to follow so um, there's a couple for you guys if you're interested in giving it a go yourself but if you're not interested in sewing whatsoever I totally don't mind um, this is just your warning pre ahead of time that there will be um, my new sewing like playlist or themed videos across the year it's not going to be all the time I'm still gonna do my regular content but I did just want to say that there are gonna be some new videos um, about me making my own dresses and my own fashion to try and help be more sustainable um, and ethical <laughs> in a way um, so that I can make my little contribution to the planet as well as everything else that I'm already doing. If any of you are sewers, hobby or whatever it might be, expert or just beginning, I would absolutely love to hear from you in the comments. Any tips that you might have, any um, groups or resources or anything like that, particularly to do with plus size because obviously I'm going to have to use plus size um, measurements or patterns. So yeah, I popped into Spotlight today and um, my very first time buying anything sewing related so I'm probably going to be missing a few bits and pieces and we'll discover more along the way but I thought you might like a little mini haul of everything that I have bought myself and chosen to buy for my first venture with sewing and I'm going to bring you along I'm going to do my haul today and then I thought we could try out sewing for the very first time together and I'm literally going to sew for the very first time with you and there's probably going to be bumps probably some scratches, some needles may go places that we don't want, but I hope you'll be here to stay along for that journey. And I'm really excited to share this with you. My heart is singing. I'm literally so happy to be encompassing this within my channel and I hope that you guys are just as excited um, and it's totally fun if you're not. <laughs> okay, I think we'll just get the biggest, bulkiest item out of the way because I'm sure you're all dying to know those of you that are interested um, into what sewing machine I have ended up choosing and I did a little bit of research I did ask Katie for some suggestions and she was saying that the spotlight ones are a great place to start um, but I did end up going with a spotlight one but I also did a lot of research on YouTube about um, different price ranges and like which ones the most highly rated and the features and all the rest of it so I have chosen da -da -da, the singer heavy duty now this is the 4423 I did want the 4432 <laughs> that's a dong twister um, but unfortunately they had just had a massive sale or just currently now still on um, and they had sold out completely Australia wide of the heavy duty 4432 so I ended up having to go the 4423 uh, which has a few less features I'm hoping that it still has the light on the foot part but if not it's fine um, so I think overall this came down to $300 and it was $600 listed so they must have had 50% off them so this bad boy I'm gonna unbox with you in a minute so now that you know which sewing machine I have chosen we will unbox it in a minute but I thought well we've got this set up here which by the way I now have a ring light thanks to Elliot for Christmas best gift ever husband knows me well um, but it's the Aurora spectrum Aurora um, I think it's a local Sydney company and yeah amazing highly recommend love it and like look at this range oh, like, look at that look at that glow and also you can change it from like really yellow to really white i'm just like so obsessed with it and i probably just screwed up all my settings so i apologize <laughs> anyway next up i wanted to share with you a few other little bits and pieces that i bought um so bear in mind i've never sewed well i haven't for a very long time i'm just going to turn that down a little bit more I haven't sewed for a very, very long time since I was like a kid. So I wanted to take it right back to basics. I know nothing essentially. And I decided to buy a couple of scrap pieces of material. So they have a box or a carton or whatever you want to call it, a crate 
full of their cutoffs that they no longer want and they highly discount them so this was down to two dollars and it was a meter long so i'm hoping that i can get some um, boxer shorts made for elliot out of these ones just to give a bit of a practice run the lady was saying pants um, if i wanted to make pants boxes are a great place oh it's a bit thin isn't it um boxes are a bit <laughs> boxes are a great place to start so obviously that is a bit too thin for boxes but that's fine it's the perfect place to start and I can just do some practice stitching um, some practice cutting some practice putting things together even if it's not worn just to like teach myself how to make clothes you know I also got the white uh, linen this one is polycitin I don't know it's 112 centimeters long and it's $2.20 and again this was just to teach myself um, how to use the machine and I'll probably just cut it up into little bits maybe these will make some good boxes <laughs> so Janelle from um, rosary apparel she recommends using a water erasable pen to mark the material with so i got that i also got some berry pins which will assist me with holding the material in a certain position before i sew it together a question i have for you guys if you do do any sewing um i was noticing in janelle's videos that she puts the pins in and then sews over the material while the pins are in the material Am I allowed to do that? Is that going to break my needle? Is that going to break my machine if I do that? Or does it just skim past the needle? I don't know. I was fascinated with it and I couldn't work it out. So if you know the answer, please let me know in the comments. Um, I got some thread, obviously. And I didn't think to buy the thread after picking the material. So I've only got a certain limited number of colors, but I can always go back and get more. So I just got the white, I just got the Birch brand. I think that was all they sold there. That's all I could see, but maybe I was wrong and not looking enough. Um, I also got the black thread. Sorry, I'm looking a lot in the viewfinder in today's video because it's been a while since I've filmed and I'm filming on my vlogging camera and it's terrible at focusing. So I keep looking at myself not out of vain but out of checking to see if we're in focus in every single frame lighter tan color called old gold and um i really liked that that was nice and then i also got a navy blue um i thought this would kind of go well for um denim or any fix-ups because elliot has a lot of clothes that needs re-sewing um so i figured that'll be good for him got myself a really nice set of scissors I saw again Janelle on her channel um, rosary apparel I saw her using a really nice pair and my dad actually is um, well I don't know if you'd say trained or if he just is a but he's an upholsterer um, by trade and he no longer does it he works elsewhere but um, for many 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 years he was an upholsterer and had his own business and I remember he had a massive pair of these it might have even been bigger than that I think but um I know that they cut well <laughs> so this is the um dream oh sorry dressmaking shears 210 millimeter um and it's the class professional cut it's got the scissors mark I don't know. Um, this is going to be really hard to open, I think. <laughs> Funny that. You need scissors to get into the scissors. I also bought thread cutters because I have one of those like pickers, but I don't have one like this. And I figured if I make a mistake, I'm going to want these. And I ummed and ahed about buying them. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to regret that decision if I don't get them. There's a few more things that I couldn't find there that I need to buy. One of which is a hangy thing for my threads. I would love to sit my threads all in a row and up unless you think there's a better solution please let me know um and then there's also the cushion that i want to put all my pins into 
Um, and please let me know if I'm missing anything else. If you think there's anything else that you're like, Katie, you really need this because I'm only going to know by experience and by trial and error. Now on to the favorite bit, <laughs> or my favorite bit at least, um, and looking at the materials. So all of these were in the clearance rack or clearance table and they were 40% off the clearance price. So a lot of these came down to $5 a meter and I'm just bloody excited. Um, so I ended up getting four meters for most of them, um, five meters for a couple of them, um, just because of the things that I'm planning on doing with them. And also as a plus size person, I don't know what the pattern is going to call for. Um, and also with wrap dresses, the lady was telling me that I'll need extra material for that. So I've just played it safe. First one is this, oh my gosh, I'm going to turn this down so you can see. Oh, oh that didn't help, did it? Is that can you see that it's got these gorgeous little jars of jam and they've got lemons and pears on them and then lemons and pears all around i thought this would make for a really really sweet summer dress um possibly wrap style sorry Elle's just with winnie um possibly wrap style but also maybe skater style dress i'm not too sure yet i'm gonna have a bit of a look at different patterns but I'm just so obsessed with the colors on it and I thought it would be really really bright and cheerful um I want to make a variety of different garments when it comes to style I would love some more subtle um earthy toned pieces linens and cheesecloth and all that sort of stuff but I also really would love some pops of color and fun prints because I think that's a little bit of fun and um, I don't have enough of those in my wardrobe. Um, another item that I got was this gorgeous, I think it's cotton, but it might, it's kind of like a linen look. It feels nice and durable and I was thinking that this would go really nicely um, as some overalls for Winnie because there was only a meter of it left. I was thinking it would make a really nice um, dress for myself, but there wasn't enough for that. So um, I've got a meter there to make some cute overalls for the kids. Next up, again from the clearance table, um, and I think I got five meters in this because it was the end of the roll. Um, look at this beautiful, stunning pattern. It's a very light gray. Um, it looks a bit darker on camera, but it's got this beautiful floral um, kind of Australiana theme all over it and it's just a beautiful material lovely and thick and again it was 100% cotton um, and now that I'm feeling that and I know that the yellow one's definitely cotton um, but yeah I just am obsessed with it I think it would make a really nice wrap dress and if I have any leftover material I might make something else with it the last one I was umming and ahhing about this print. I didn't know if it was going to clash with my skin tone because I tend to like clash with pinky nudey kind of colors because of my skin. But I'm excited to give it a go and I think it's going to work out. If not, I can put it up for sale, but I think it just, oh, I'm, I'm obsessed with it. It's gorgeous. I'll bring it up close for you to have a look. So again, I think I got five meters of that or four meters. Of, it was the end of the roll. So I can't quite remember. I think it was like 4.2 or something. But um, yeah, all up, I spent $89 for that material. Um, and then the rest of the stuff was like 300 and something. Oh, I should have got the receipt. 387 for the sewing stuff. And then 89 for the materials, which I thought was a bargain. You know? Oh. <laughs> Might have if I pull the back part out. Oh, this is so exciting. Now, the good thing with this machine is that it's supposedly um, portable. I'm going to stand up to lift this out because I can just tell it's going to be heavy. There you are. Okie dokie, this is my very first singer. I'm so excited. So 
in here. We have the foot pedal. It smells amazing, I'm not gonna lie. Oh look, it's got all the details. Oh, this is so exciting. So this is the desk that I'm going to be putting my sewing machine on. I actually picked this up from a curbside pickup. Someone around my neighborhood had put all of this IKEA furniture out on their front lawn and I swear to goodness it looked brand new and I pulled over quickly and I was like, um, are these really free? Because I had a free sign in front of it. She was like, yeah, um, my friend's moving back to China and I was like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. So. I ended up picking this up for free on curbside. Has a little drawer here, which I'm gonna keep all of these bits in. And then I'm gonna keep the sewing machine on it. is my singer. I am so excited to use that. I'm probably just going to pull my chair over and use the same chair as my other desk. I may even turn the other desk into the sewing area depending on how much fabric I need and what works easiest for me. But so far I'm loving this little setup over the side. Thank you so much guys for tuning in today to come along on this new adventure with me. Um, I hope that you will join me on more sewing episodes, videos, whatever we wanna call them. Um, obviously next time will be my actual sewing for the first time so you will actually see machine work and me getting my hands dirty but um, today was obviously just compiling all the things that I think I will need and I've probably missed a ton of stuff so like I said earlier in the video if you can remember anything or think of anything that I'm gonna need please let me know in the comments I would really appreciate that um, and also any resources that you might have when it comes to kits or patterns or whatever so yeah that's it from me in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.